Hi, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the frequent spelling patterns for long O words. And this comes from unit one, activity 2A from your sit and spelling and word skills practice book, level four. Let's go ahead and get started. So write the following sentence on the next blank page in your writing notebook. I know I can go rope an old goat. I love using silly sentences to teach grammar and spelling because it makes it so much more fun. You can pause the video while you write and then restart once you have it written down. Now I would like for you to circle the long O words in this sentence. Pause the video and then come back. The long O words that I circled were no, go, rope, old, and goat. Count the vowels in each long O word that I've circled. No has one vowel, just that long O. Go just has the one. Rope, however, has two vowels, the long O and the silent E at the end. Old just has one. But goat has two vowels, the long O and the silent A that comes right after it. Long vowel words are usually spelled with two vowels. I want you to find words that follow this rule like rope and goat. In the word no, the W functions as a vowel. Go and old are exception words. Follow along on page one of your practice book. In the first box, we are going to think of OA words like the word boat and foal. Now you think of two and write the words that you think have this OA spelling pattern. Next, we have words with the OW long O spelling pattern like throw and yellow. Now you think of two and write those in the box. After that, we have the old OLD long O spelling pattern with words like soldier and golden. Do you see the OLD in those words? Now you think of two. Now we have the O at the end of a syllable, like words hotel and robot. So hotel is two syllables. It's a two syllable word that I can clap out with two parts. Hotel, clap them out with me. Robot, notice the long O comes at the end of the first syllable. Hotel, robot. So robot also has those two syllables and we can clap those out. The long O is at the end of the first syllable again. Now you think of two words to add on your own. Then we have the O consonant E words like joke and whole. See how in the word joke, there's the long O and then the consonant letter K and then the silent E. That silent E is very important because it makes the O the long vowel sound rather than the ah short vowel sound. Same with the word whole. Now you think of two more words for this last box. Now there are always exceptions to these rules in the English language. I know it's annoying, but we learn those too. Words like old and go would work. So would the words both and most. Let's read these words that have the long O sound together. Are you ready? Here we go. Most, roll, post, both, only, shoulder. Okay, now let's read these words that do not have the long O sound. Above, none, do, prove, gone, come. Some words misbehave, they don't follow the rules. And in your writing notebook on that same play page that you wrote your goat sentence, I want you to tell me why these words, like above, none, do, why do they not follow the long O rules that we've been studying? Check out what's on our door at school. This is a chart that I want you to write on. It's for all of our frequent spelling patterns for long O that we've been thinking of today. When you come to class next week, I want you to add the words you came up with on your worksheet and write your favorite ones to our class chart. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.